Now, in the middle of the Republican convention activity in Cleveland, Ohio, is Africa 54's Vincent McCory. Vincent, now it's official that Donald Trump is the uh, presidential nominee for the Republican Party. And all eyes will be on him Thursday night when he speaks. Uh, what does he have to say to win over those crucial undecided voters? Well, Esther, you can be sure that he will tell them he is a good man who means well for America. He will obviously tell them that he is not a traditional politician, he's a kind of an outsider, he's not necessarily politically correct all the time, but he has a great plan of to make America great again. Be sure, he will remind them that if they don't come over to his side, Hillary uh, Clinton will win this election, and to them, that will be more of the same for the next four or even eight years. And they will obviously remind them that he is not a racist, but is a person concerned about the safety of this country and therefore decided to take a tougher stance on immigration and as well as the fight against terrorism. He will really appeal to them and scare them uh, as regards uh, uh, Hillary Clinton is concerned if she was to become president. So, Vincent, would you say Tuesday night lived up to the theme, Make America Work Again? <laughs> I don't think so, because when you listen to speaker after speaker, in fact, they took every little minute to just uh, attack Hillary Clinton. It was just like well-coordinated attacks on Hillary Clinton. You didn't hear much being said about what it is that Mr. Trump will do to make America's economy grow and become stronger and to help many Americans, you know, get on their feet and, and have a better life. Well, we can say one that stood out was a speech by Donald Trump Jr. He really came out strongly, very articulately, talked about his father and how he values hard work, how he is a man who believes that there's nothing impossible to do if you put your mind to it, and therefore connected this to how he would perform as a president of this country and how he could improve this country because he loves people, he loves hard work, and he appreciates people who work hard, even if they're not as highly educated as some may be. And, and, and so perhaps that one. But the rest of them, I think, they spend most of their time just mm -hmm. attacking Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Vincent, uh, well, tomorrow's theme, uh, what is it on Wednesday and who are the speakers tomorrow? Well, the theme uh, this Wednesday is Make America First Again. This focuses on the foreign policy, trying to show uh, why Donald Trump's foreign policy will be better than the current uh, president, or perhaps Hillary Clinton. And, and, and we'll have the featured speakers uh, include uh, two of his former rivals, uh, Ted Cruz, uh, that man that he called Lying Ted, <laughs> and uh, uh, Marco Rubio, the one he called Little uh, Marco. Uh, along with that, there will also be there will be uh, Newt Gingrich, who is a former House Speaker, and uh, he tried also to run for president in 2012, as well as Mike Pence, who will be running as uh, um, Mr. Trump's uh, running mate as vice pres president. Uh, so the, we mm -hmm. expect to hear what they will say about Mr. Trump and his foreign policy, why it's good for America out there. Vincent, thank you so much. Uh, we'll be talking to you again tomorrow. Vincent uh, McCory is uh, Africa 54's uh, anchor. He is reporting live from the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio.